We are so excited to have been selected as an early beta participant for the Snow Park experience. Over the past month, we've been able to test our favorite tools and are excited to share a sneak peek into what we've learned. What we found is that for data engineering workloads, we're able to simplify the complex problem of managing dependencies and administering environments for programs to, to run. In the machine learning space, we've been able to unlock new possibilities for scoring models and serving the results to customers. Diving into the data engineering cart, customers can bring their existing code base and run it inside a Snowflake virtual warehouse. This brings additional functionality that was previously difficult to tap into by providing extensibility and testability for continuous integration and continuous delivery deployments. Let's dive into how Snowpark allows us to accomplish these tasks with a very simple example. First, we're gonna take a simple CSV file, upload it, read it, transform it, and do some data validation on it. While this can be handled natively within Snowflake, it usually requires four or five steps to perform, and it has to be done in sequence. As we'll see shortly, Snowflake simplifies this process within one execution engine. Let's first explore our sample data set. We find a CSV file in, in our data directory. We can see that it is simply three lines of employee information. We can also see that we may have some invalid data in here in the third line. Now, let's jump into our coding environment. The first item to point out is the ability to define functions that others can leverage, including data upload, data retrieval, and data frame definitions. The primary way to interact with data on Snowpark is in fact a data frame, which greatly simplifies the way in which you interact with the data set moving forward, since this is a standardized approach across many different data engineering tools. Utilizing the built-in data frame API, we are easily able to validate data with conditional statements that are built into the API. You can see that here with the filter command. This also allows us to identify any salary data that is incorrect and routes it to a location that alerts our team so that we can fix issues identified by our code. Now that our data is loaded into a data frame, we can perform joins with other tables and save the output for others to use in our target table. Let's see this run in action. As you can see, the results are here and we've processed the data and seen what it can do on Snowpark. What we've just demonstrated that one, you can execute your code natively inside Snowflake within a virtual data warehouse. Two, your code can be extensible and programmatic in a way that's easily shareable and reusable across development teams. And three, we were able to execute this process in one step instead of multiple SQL statements. For a brief demo on how Snowpark enables machine learning, I would like to introduce our machine learning practice manager, Dr. Robert Koop. Thanks, Keith. With the release of Snowpark, you can now execute machine learning models on Snowflake by uploading a machine learning model and then executing it in parallel on any data stored on the platform with a standard query. This can reduce the cost of machine learning by eliminating the need for any external services or other production environments. Security and governance are simplified by using Snowflake's tools and automations to manage model execution just like regular queries. In this demo, we will create a Snowpark project in IntelliJ, load a model that has been exported to a PMML file, the predictive model markup language, and execute this project on Snowflake. Many popular machine learning tools can export PMML, including Python's Scikit-Learn, DataIQ, DataRobot, H2O.ai, and other models like TensorFlow and Apache Spark ML are supported via third-party conversion tools. Full details and a detailed step-by-step write-up can be found at our blog using the link in the description. Here we have our required files. We have the PMML pre-trained model from Scikit-Learn and also all of the dependencies that Snowpark requires. To use Snowpark with IntelliJ, we need to install the Scala plugin from the marketplace. The easiest way to manage dependencies and the build process is to use a Maven project. After you have created the project, create a folder to hold your dependencies and add them to the project requirements. You can then right click the project name in the structure window, select add framework and enable the Scala framework for this project. 
This is our PMML model file, an XML representation of an XGBoost model. It was built in Python using scikit-learn. This is the Jupyter Notebook used to create the model. It is fairly straightforward. We load the data, train our model, view the accuracy and statistics, and then export the model to a PMML file. Our Snowflake database contains information about passengers on the Titanic and whether or not they survived. This is the schema for that data, which we will use in our Scala class. Now we can create our Scala class and configure it for Snowpark execution. We specify our Snowflake URL, credentials, and other information. In order to read the data from Snowflake, we need to specify the schema as shown. Once we do that, we can read the data into a data flow. To load the PMML model, we will create a package and class that loads and returns the model. This is a very simple class. We are now ready to load a model and make some predictions. We need to add any required files to our session using the add dependency method. Snowpark allows us to create a user-defined function, or UDF. This function can be called during a Snowflake session. Here, we've defined a UDF that calls our PMML models predict function. To execute this model, we call that UDF and pass all of the passenger data as arguments. We can then output the data in order to see the survival prediction for our Titanic passengers. When we execute this project, Snowpark will upload our dependency files and a jar export of our UDF to Snowflake. Snowflake will then execute our UDF in parallel on our data, and the results are output to console. With Snowpark, we can deploy and execute ML models directly on Snowflake. This can simplify your ML architecture, decrease administrative workloads, and reduce the cost of machine learning. Thank you for your attention.